Hi and welcome to Cosmic Consciousness with Cassia. I'm an intuitive ascension-based astrologer, a tarot reader, a Reiki master, and an angelic healer. And it is my mission to assist you in your ascension process. And so we're going to get right into it today. This is going to be a reading for Gemini for the end of July. This is Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Signs. If you don't know all of your different sign placements, you can go to a website such as astro.com, plug in your birth information, and they will generate a chart for you. The more we understand our personal astrology, the better we can understand ourselves. I do offer personalized astrological ascension readings. And so basically what I do is go through and look at where the different planets are transiting in your natal chart right now. And from that, we can determine sort of what's going on in your ascension process and where the energies are supporting you for your growth. I also offer personal readings and energy healings. So please reach out if you need any assistance. And yeah, let's see what's going on for the end of July here for our Geminis. All right. All right, so we have sacrifice number 12. So this would be the hanged man in the traditional deck. And then we have the hierophant, which is wisdom in this deck, number five. And we have triumphant success, which would be equivalent to the ace of swords in the traditional deck. So this is, this is really interesting. I'm feeling as though there was some sort of pause that happened Perhaps, perhaps with the sacrifice card, I could feel this also has sacrifices, areas where you had to make sacrifices in order to gain wisdom and gain enlightenment, which I'm definitely seeing with the combination of the Hierophant card and the Ace of Wands. And so the Hierophant card is also Taurus energy as well. But I'm, I'm really feeling this as like... This pause, this pause, and this change in perspective that allowed you to gain wisdom and sort of advance you spiritually and led to this sort of breakthrough. So there was some sort of, there was some sort of breakthrough that you had, some sort of clarity that was gained. You had like a, a serious spiritual experience for you guys, Gemini's. A, ser a serious spiritual experience and like it didn't come without sacrifice it didn't come without hard work but you guys like you you were willing to put in the work you were willing to put in the work and like you're really reaping the efforts of this like the hierophant like this is just in this deck there's just so much wisdom in this card there's you just you gained there, there was so much. You may have been through some, some experiences that were a bit challenging that really caused you to reevaluate things and see things from different perspectives. You may have been or may be in the process of realizing areas where you are willing to make sacrifices in order to have the things that you really want and in order to achieve the things that you really want to achieve in your life, which is this, this spiritual up-leveling, this spiritual upgrade, this this you guys have gained you guys have gained a certain level of wisdom through the experiences that you've had and the different ways that your perspective has shifted as a result of these experiences that's really bringing through through a whole new cycle for you guys a whole new cycle that's going to be incredibly successful for you and then on the bottom of the deck interestingly we have choose wisely so like a lot of different paths laid out before you guys right now. A lot of different paths, a lot of different choices. Like you are really coming into your success and now you have a lot of different options on ways to move forward. So it's really about to which option, which, what are you choosing, right? We're talking about the reality that we create, right? So like, what are you choosing? And really this understanding that your thoughts, your words, and your actions, as well as your vibration, right? Because your thoughts, words, and actions are what determine your vibration. And so like those really do create your reality. So this I'm also feeling for you guys as just a reminder, and maybe one of the things that you've learned throughout this process is how that works and how to utilize that energy to your advantage moving forward. Yeah, and then we have the Six of Cups, 
memories of love, nostalgia. So you may be thinking about the past. You may be thinking about the past a little bit. Um, just really kind of reminiscing and reminiscing about choices that you made at different points and sort of like where those led you and different changes in perspective around those choices as well. And then we also have fertility on the bottom of the deck, which is the Empress energy. So this is like the divine feminine in all her glory. This is the birth of a new cycle, a new cycle of fertility, a new cycle of abundance. Like you guys are really stepping into this cycle of abundance. And you're really, you're seeing the choices that you've made in the past. You're seeing the different um, ways that your perception may have influenced the ways that you are your thoughts, your words, and your actions, and the sum of all of those things may have affected um, some of the choices that you made in the past. And you're ready to move into this new empowered cycle where like you're very purposefully creating what you want through, the, through your ability to utilize this synergy of your thoughts, your emotions, and, and your vibration, right? And yeah, just really just moving into that and maybe feeling there may be situations in the past that you feel a bit, a bit, um, nostalgic about six, the six of cups can also be like a past life soulmate type energy. It can be the energy sometimes of reunion. And so some of you may be calling back into your life, somebody who embodies some of this empress energy or or just a new soulmate altogether from somebody that you've known from past lives, but maybe not from this one. And so that's really fun and interesting. Yeah. And then we have two on the bottom of the deck, which is mental conflict. So this is like, you may be experiencing, this is the energy that you were in in the past, whether this has to do with somebody from this lifetime that you're having this not these nostalgic memories about, or if this just has to do with with you in general, just really being caught up in that mental space, that space of mental turmoil, that space of indecision, that space of like teeter tottering and going back and forth and just really being like making, making choices that were sometimes a product of your fears and sometimes a product of this mental conflict and not necessarily a product of this like clear thinking and decisiveness that you're coming into now. Like you guys are an air sign. You're pretty good at that kind of stuff. You think very logically. You don't think very emotionally, but you think a lot. And so sometimes it's just too many thoughts swirling around and really wanting to get clear on that. And so just really wanting to, moving into a cycle where, where you aren't stuck in that kind of mental conflict and energy. And for some of you guys, you may have like mental conflict that's going on when it comes to these memories of love, when it comes to this person from your past and just the opportunities that were possibly missed there and just how much, how much just things and experiences that, that you had with this person, things that you wish you could have experienced more of that, you know, the Empress is, she's just, she's everything, right? And sometimes she's a little bit too much. So there's that energy of like wishing, maybe not being able to fully appreciate that energy when it was present. And now sort of looking back on that and feeling a little bit conflicted about that moving forward. And we have fertility, you know? So this is, this is the energy. This could be for some of you, the mother of your child. This could be somebody who just represents that mother, mothering type energy, right? That nurturing energy, that earth mother type energy. Yeah. And then we have patience. We have patience and we have balance. And so I feel like these are two things that you have been learning how to master is patience and balance. Learning how learning how how to be patient, learning how to to really like you guys you have you have things that are coming to fruition for you right now. But like that's taken, you had to plant those seeds, you had to water those seeds, you had to tend to those seeds. And whatever area of your life you were able to do that in, you're now looking to being able to apply that to other areas of your life. 
and you learned balance. You really learned how to, like emotional balance I'm feeling for you guys. Like really that balance and that balance in the mind. Like coming into that into that balance within your mind, within yourself. Like we have the Ace of Swords here. So this is like a new cycle when it comes to your mind, when it comes to the way that you think, the way that you communicate, the way that you understand things. So really learning this balance and this patience when it comes to when it comes to any and all aspects of your life and really just working on that like balance is so we have balance which would be uh justice i believe in the traditional deck which would be libra energy so this energy of of like seeing both sides of a situation being able to understand where another person is coming from being able to like be in that gray area this energy of like being able to negotiate, being able to, yeah, to really have empathy and see from another person's perspective and see another person's side. And you, so you've learned the virtues of patience. You've learned the virtues of balance. These have been, and if you, if you may, some of you may still be in the process of learning these things. And then we also have temptation on the bottom of the deck, number 15. And so this would be the devil card in the traditional deck. So these are like, shadow energies right shadow energy this is shadow energy this is all those things that keep us bound this is addictions this is habits unhealthy habits and behaviors and so you're really learning how to balance those out and how to not fall victim to those anymore and in the past you may have felt fell victim to those you may have there may have been a lot of those shadow energies present if this is a past relationship that you're reminiscing on right now there may be have been a lot of shadow energies present in that relationship or that showed up in that relationship and working through those help, helps you to develop patience and balance or being able to see in retrospect how you could have worked through those better and really applying the lessons of that as you move forward and just gaining this clearer and clearer level of insights as far as all of that goes so just a lot of a lot of temptations coming up as you're learning this patience and this balance and all of this you may be presented with more temptations just to kind of take your temperature and see where you're at with things but i have complete confidence in you guys that you will have positive movement move forward there is positive movement on the horizon for you guys like you are going to be able to continue to overcome these these devil energies and just really you know <laughs> i mean i'm just thinking of it's your gemini's right so you guys have kind of that feisty sort of temperament and personality to you guys you kind of like to play with danger a little bit it's like the twins right so there's the one that's kind of like this angel right and has is a little bit more balanced and then we have kind of the devil on the other shoulder and so finding the balance between these sides of yourself as well i feel is something that you guys have been working on and learning how to harmonize that and how to take the best qualities from each and really that that process that you've been in of learning how to merge your shadow right how to integrate your shadow a lot of intense energies coming up with that for you guys as well so there's going to be positive momentum and movement forward, whether this comes in the form of some type of reconciliation with this empress type energy, whether this, this is just your life in general and how you're able to move forward with your life in general. And yeah, so I couldn't help myself. I had to keep flipping through a little more. So you guys have the waiting game, which I don't always read reversals, but this is sort of it was reversed in the deck um so it's sort of like yeah the tree the tree with the roots so i'm feeling the patience for you guys again of like you've learned how to be patient for the things that you want and how to really allow things to develop in the timing that they've meant they're meant to develop in and just seeing how like we see this beautiful tree above the ground right here but like there are we understand that in order for that tree to exist it has to have deep roots and so just really like understanding the patience is necessary to build those roots but you guys yeah i mean there may have been something that you've been waiting on for a really long time that you're about to have that positive movement with and then we have the eight of cups which is emotional withdrawal and then we have the ace of cups love begins and so, yeah, for some of you guys, this is either a relationship that's coming back around 
or a new relationship with a past life soulmate, past possibly who you haven't met in this lifetime, that now you've learned those lessons from that other from that other relationship, that other interaction, you're now able to to utilize those in this new in this new relationship, whatever this is. Like it's definitely a relationship. Like sometimes I see this as this can be a card that denotes self love, and that's always present. If we are able to have a healthy relationship, we have to have self love, right? But you see, there's two very distinct, different hands with different colors, colored shirts here, holding this cup together with the rainbow bridge connecting them. So this is definitely love with another person that I'm feeling. After a period of emotional withdrawal, there was a period of really having like a waiting game. There, there, was, there was some waiting involved. There was just this, this energy of sort of like, you guys may have had set intentions a really long time ago and then like kind of withdrawn. You set those intentions, you were waiting on something then you kind of retreated into your kind of retreated to your corner for a little while and really but i feel this i always feel this card is like emotional healing because you see he's like praying on the he's on the beach he's got like this beautiful energy behind him he's just like taking time out taking time away disconnecting a little bit in order to allow himself to heal is what I feel from this. So there may have been some timing issues that were just off because there was a level of healing that needed to occur. There may have been, you know, some painful situations, some different things that you had to go through and grow through that required you to withdraw a little bit. And and that all of that growth and that process of being alone, like I'm being I'm being reminded of the uh, the hermit card in the traditional deck as well. And then it's interesting because we have trapped in fear and then we have solitude which is the hermit card <laughs> and then we have after that spiritual union which is the two of cups Ooh, you guys that's beautiful yeah and 20 which is truth so that's really interesting which would be judgment in the traditional deck so I didn't even mean to do this. I, it's just, I just, I felt like I wanted to keep going and going. So yeah, some time in solitude, some time for reflection. The hermit card is also a card of like spiritual, spiritual growth, like a spiritual, um, what's the word that I'm looking for here? Spiritual enlightenment, right? That, that process of going within. And so there may have been, and this is again like mental entrapment, right? So that energy, that mental conflict energy of really being stuck in your heads and really going within, needing to go within, needing to take that time. So it's the same exact story that was just told here, right? Taking that time alone, taking that time to yourself to really reevaluate things and get to understand yourself better. That purification, right? The Virgo energy is that purification energy. And then, like, coming out of that into this beautiful union-type energy. This is soulmate love. This is, like, the whole enchilada right here. This is everything. Two souls that are very spiritually connected, that are unified. You know, their foreheads are touching, and it's like their third eyes are touching, and they're just producing this. They're reaching a whole new level of enlightenment when they combine their energies together. And, yeah. Yeah. So there's a call to a call to action, right? You're understanding, you're seeing, you're seeing truth and you're understanding truth through this process of when you were trapped in this energy, maybe you couldn't discern what was real and what was not, right? And so you spent this time alone and you're able to really understand that more and you're really being called and drawn to where you belong is what I feel for you guys or you're seeing and understanding that. And just this, this process of evolution has made you a vibratory match for what it is that you desire, for this new love that's coming in for you. Whether, like I said, this is a reconciliation with someone from your past or for a new soulmate love that you're bringing in. Now that you are at that vibration, you're at that new level. And just really understanding, just really understanding the truth about situations, the truth about yourself. Like when you see, when you see this person when you meet this person, whether you're meeting again or you're meeting for the first time, you will see the truth. It will be undeniable. 
you won't be able to run from that. You won't, like, you. it won't be disguised. It will be very glaringly obvious to you what the path is moving forward. And that's really helpful for you, Geminis, because you guys can be fickle, right? You, it's, it's that twin energy again, right? You want one thing, then you want another. And so you think you think you feel one way and then you and then you feel another, right? But that's the key right there, right? Like I said, you think you feel. So now you're learning how to feel and then think. How to combine those two, the merging of that energy, right? And so how to lead with your heart heart instead of your head. That's a huge lesson for you guys. How to lead with your heart, but still use that logic and use that discernment to your advantage. Yeah, and then we have movement, choices, decisions. Boom. There will there will be there will be those. Oh my god, I could just <laughs> I could go on with this forever, you guys, but I think that I think that was a pretty good that was a pretty good reading right there as far as all of that goes. And now I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, I want to pull one of these for you guys. We're gonna do a mystical shaman oracle card for you guys. Mystical Shaman Oracle. So for Gemini, end of July 2020. Gemini, end of July 2020. And energy is fluid. Time is fluid. As you guys know, this may have already happened. It may be happening right now. It may be happening in the future. And parts of this may resonate. All of this may resonate. None of this may resonate. It's a general reading. So take what fits and leave the rest is all I can say. So we got 24, heart of the sky. Mm -hmm. I'll hold that up so you guys can see it. She's like wearing the cosmos as a crown. It's beautiful. The heart of the sky is the love force that made all creation possible. This same force is present when you create with originality, when you bring formlessness to form or inspired ideas to expression. This primeval force does not know good or bad. It is up to us to provide the clear intention that will guide it to manifest. Just what we were talking about, right? You real, you're learning how your thoughts, words, and actions create your vibration, which draws to you the things that you manifest into your reality and learning how to utilize that for your your evolution and to create what it is that you want and to draw what you what it is that you want to you the heart of the sky helps us call in beauty from the invisible world and birth it into the world of matter the heart of the sky brings you a sacred reminder you are a channel for the original energy of creation become the paintbrush the canvas and the artist all guarded by the heart of the sky Set your intention ethically and clearly and allow the universe to take care of the details. Perfect, right? And always with that energy of love, right? That energy of love is that energy of creation. And that energy of creation, I feel like you guys, like that is that union energy too. And we're talking about that union with that, that sacred union energy, that masculine and feminine union energy, and just that harmony that comes, that creation energy that's created when we come together with another being, when we come together sexually, when we come together emotionally, and in all of these different ways, spiritually, and how that energy, it's like taking, it's like the fire and the burning of that energy in all the different ways that you can utilize that that energy to create I feel like you guys are going to be tapping into so much of your potential in so many different ways and it's just going to be drawing everything to you which then just like opens you up more and more to more creativity to more flow to more joy and just really like utilizing that energy that obviously like ended this reading for a reason because it's bringing it back to what we were originally talking about, which is really learning how to set your clear intentions and manifest and create and knowing that you are a conscious creator and really embracing what that means and bringing that into your reality and utilizing all the different ways that you can create and really harnessing that energy in all of its different forms to bring about just like this amazing amazing future that you guys are going to have like i i absolutely love it and i'm trying to think if there's anything else i want to do for you guys but i feel like that's i feel like that's it i feel like that's good so i hope you enjoyed this reading if you like this video please give it a like if you want to catch more videos 
uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell with the little squigglies if you want to get notifications for more videos. There is a link to donate to my channel down below if you want to support all the wonderful free content that I love providing for you. I may or may not, I don't know, I've done quite a few videos tonight. I can't remember if I mentioned my different services, but I offer a whole variety of different services to aid you in your ascension process and help to guide you. So if you're interested in, in any of those, check them out in the description box below. Shoot me an email, reach out. If this video resonated, leave a comment, like, subscribe, share, all that fun, fun, fun stuff. You guys know the drill. And I will talk to you again soon. I hope you enjoy the rest of this month of July as we move into Leo season and just really more of that dynamic, creative energy, right? Like you guys are ready to shine and I cannot wait to see and hear about the things that you guys are up to moving forward.